open. Here's the first look of Mini Cooper SE. This is the uh, facelift edition of the Mini Electric. So uh, let's take a look at the exterior and then we'll dive into the interior. So we have a new redesigned bumper. We have some side uh, air tunneling for better aerodynamics. We have some air intake on the bottom and a little bit on the top. Uh, black badge as well, beautiful dark blue color with some black rings, still classical mini lights. Looking gorgeous. We have nice 17 inch alloys. These are a little bit open, but still diamond cut. You have this sort of closed area for aerodynamics and I like the, how they did this inside you have arches in the plastic so if you're going uh, off-roading you don't have to worry you're gonna scratch your clear coats a little bit protection new side turn signal new mirror design it's a little bit different maybe for better aerodynamics you have the lane assist camera on the top and the light rain sensor beautiful glass roof now, black door handles, you have a button here to open and close. Many yours, so this is the limited edition. We also have a new short antenna, looks a lot better in my opinion. And then we have the ending spoiler with a little tip towards the end. Here is the charging port, your AC type 2 and then combine CCS, your DC fast charging. Looking from this side, very gorgeous looking, Cooper S, I like the bottom diffuser, two fog lights, very symmetric looking, Cooper S in black, black badge and we have the E for the electric, well the camera is on the side but because we have to open here, also black finish, let's open it up. So nice and practical, small CD hatchback, opens nice and tall, you have a place for the emergency triangle, you can remove this shelf if necessary over here, and you have seats but you can push the seat upright position on 90 degrees if you have a suitcase or you can just put it uh, lean back if you need to. We have tether points here and here, uh, we have this is something someone was opening that's supposed to be shut uh, never mind we have a light on the right and a 12 volt outlet and over here there's an additional storage area underneath so as you can see you have two levels so you can put it up here or uh, four fingers lower if needed so this is extendable but you need two hands in order to do that so there you go, you actually have to push it out and then you can put it in like that. Or you can slide it at this and then you have a flat bottom pull to close. Also nice blacked out uh, Union Jack lights and just a little throw them on the top. And then let's check out the interior. So we have a new indoor design, nice soft materials, beautiful satin gray finish, ambient lights, lock and lock, nice contrasting leather, and beautiful new LED ambient lights design, gorgeous high quality finish of the speaker. This really isn't practical, but uh, you can fit some small stuff. Power windows, Mini Cooper S, aluminum doorstep, manual seats with this beautiful white leather and really nice pattern. You have the extended area for the knees. Mini Cooper yours, limited carpets as well. Uh, nice fiscal controls for the lights fog rear, front and rear, illumination for the display on the top, heat of steering wheel, you adjust manually, and new design of the air vents. Let's hop inside. So looking gorgeous, 
switching to wide lens. Ooh, look at this. So this is the facelift from the inside and it looks gorgeous. They have a new steering wheel and the new infotainment on the side, but still familiar design of the Mini. Zooming back in, we also have a nice heads-up display. You can see that, but it's a little bit towards inside, uh, not facing the road. Uh, we have also a new bigger screen here with a physical dial uh, behind a little transparent area for the charge boost close this air vents actually let's just lower the AC so really gorgeous uh, not too many information although the picture here kind of looks maybe it's the screen uh, yeah anti reflexive uh, so it looks a little bit blurry but it's still good I like the finish, Harman Kardon speakers. Big speaker on the top. I love this finish here. We have a nice white soft material, hard plastic on the bottom. And uh, we have a new infotainment here. Uh, so this is in German, but uh, this is the new infotainment. The hazard buttons here will uh, I guess safety features around and still have nice physical controls for the AC with this beautiful ambient lights. Wish these were white instead of orange, just a little bit personal taste here. AC, heated seats, and we have here the parking centers, front radar, start stop, uh, driving modes. We have the green, uh, green plus mid and sport Ooh, the sport changes the there you theme so if we just show you this you can see that it kind of switches the colors as well of the interior uh, ambient lights you can see them on the left side there so pretty cool switching uh zooming back in we have also the vault here uh usb a and c and we have a new cup holder. We can put a phone here, so it's practical, uh, automatic. It's nice and easy. And some nice leather here as well. Parking, electronic parking brake. Uh, still menu, you can use here a lot of shortcuts. Uh, it's nice and easy with the style, options back. So Mini Me have a little bit redesigned uh, infotainment, but I haven't switched it to English, but you can see how it works. And let's see the glove compartment, pretty spacious. You also have AC inside, a little light. And the seats are super nice. Have here the lumbar support manual. And there's a look at the back, also high-end finished speakers, Harman Kardon. Uh, you have a nice little uh, hook on the top. And you have a manual shade for the front and for the rear. So. That's cool. You like that? So, for a two meter tall person or 6.6, .6, ah, you can fit. You're touching a little bit, but I think you can adjust yourself. You won't be driving in the rear, so that's for sure. And armrest. You can put your phone here, it's adjustable. And then you could. There's a little area here, you could adjust it by pushing here, adjusting so. And on the other side, there's a speaker, so as you can see, that it's a nice finish. And looking here, well, navigation, maps, so it's a nice, it's a familiar mini design, a little bit laggy though, but. Uh, Beautiful graphics. So, check. so they updated the screen. It looks really high-end finish, but I think it should be a bit uh, faster, if you ask me. So, uh, changed the language somehow. Uh, found it. So let's just show you the quick glance from the other seat. So really nice interior and infotainment. There's a little menus inside menus, but uh, the graphics are really gorgeous in the mini. So and that's pretty much it uh, on the top emergency call now airbag and uh, of course you can change the 
uh, you can change the lights you can change the illumination uh, colors so just hold this in you can change the colors for the ambient lights as well I like this physical switches it's kind of nice I have the mirror here and some lights oh this is really nice although I would prefer cold lights instead of warm uh, the driver's side doesn't have this there's a on the passenger side so looking nice I really like the white interior combo and let's check the front space thank you so back up here so you can see the whole car in the frame so we have a nice big cover and this is probably where your 12 volt battery is brake fluids and this is for the user that wash your fluid if you need to change the rest you can just leave it to the mechanics we need to have a sound insulation here on the top although it's probably not necessary just drop it it closes nice and easy and let's check the spec sheet so we got here a Mini Cooper SE and pick a different color obviously so this is the base price 32,000 euros 500 and total price of this uh, model is 40 almost 43,000 uh, this is of course with uh, lots of options so these cars on car shows usually are fully packed uh, so let's see here see the optional equipment so you just pause and read So that's an extended list and standard equipment. And then if you want to see technical details, so 135 kilowatts or 184 horsepower, it seems a lot for such a small car, so it should be fun. Top speed is limited to 150, 7.3 seconds, 0 to 100, and VLTP range of 227 kilometers. It's probably combined on the highway. In the city, you should get almost 300 but in real world uh, on a high speed you should get around 100 uh, less depending on your driving style but uh, power consumption of 15 kilowatts uh, should be good for such a small electric car uh, and here's some uh, DC fast charging uh, a little more than half an hour and uh, AC 0 to 100 three, three and a half hours so I assume this is a two, 22 kilowatts at this is also pretty good if you're charging at home, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, maybe not the best car for long distance travel. You need to at least do one stop every 300 kilometers, but, uh, or actually less, excuse me. But it is uh, practical for the city and saves you a lot of money and driving clean. So you can see here the weight, uh, almost a ton and a half when you load it a little bit more. So looking great high quality uh finish on the mini it's just it's a gorgeous looking car very stylish after showing this mini i gotta show you this one as well this one has the wheel wheelers that you saw on the first model the pre-facelift uh, also blacked out but what's interesting the roof check out this roof it's black and then blue tone then finishes with a dark blue so there's two tones starts with the black and then beautiful gorgeous transition into the car vehicle or the main vehicle color and then ends in the dark blue so really interesting and it has this new stripes so this is really gorgeous as well you can spec uh, what you want of course but although I think the other wheels will look a lot better and they're also kind of closed in design And just to show you the interior of this model also very similar uh, white contrast interior but a little black and cloth interior combo also looking very very nice so everyone tell me how do you like the new mini facelift uh, and would you go electric I think this is an excellent looking car really stylish uh, now fully electric for me it's more appealing because of that but 
Um, tell me in the comments what do you think. And if you want to see more from the Munich EAA, there's going to be plenty of new cars. Subscribe to the channel, click the little bell to get notified when I upload new videos. There's also some interesting BMW fully electric models. Uh, as always, stay safe and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.